speaker is Doug Rawlings. Doug is a teacher, he's a Vietnam vet, and he's the director, the president of Maine Veterans for Peace, Chapter 001. Good afternoon. My remarks will be equally brief, in fact, briefer, I hope. Let me start to run these through. Um, directed at Senator Collins. Senator Collins, we are here today to say no more business as usual until the troops are brought home from Iraq. It is far too obvious to most Americans and most Iraqis that Iraq is on fire and our occupying army is the fuel that stokes that fire. As a citizen, as a father, as a grandfather, as a Vietnam veteran, and as a member of Veterans for Peace, I re represent many Mainers who want you to do your duty as our senator and call for a defunding of the war, to use our tax dollars to bring the troops home now and take care of them when they get here. We stand in solidarity with the American troops who want to come home now and with the American people who support them in their time of need. As our senator, it is your responsibility to ensure that our service women and men are not forgotten. It is your moral duty to stand before your colleagues on the floor of the Senate and demand that they stop wallowing in bureaucratic red tape, that they stop their preening rhetoric about this strategy or that strategy, and begin today implementing an immediate withdrawal of all American troops from Iraq, and then commit whatever resources it will take to help the Iraqi people rebuild their nation. That would be a use of our tax dollars that we could support. Senator Collins, our presence here today is a symbolic one. We are with you and your staff on behalf of the citizens of Maine who could only be here in spirit. We say to you that we are done cooperating with a political system that supposedly re represented a democracy <coughs> excuse me, that is blind to the needs and welfare of our citizen soldiers. We remind you that as this day unfolds, at least two more American soldiers will die in Iraq and another ten will be severely wounded. This casualty count will continue, indeed only worsen, until the day that our representatives and senators face reality and cut off the funding for this war. Senator Collins, let me finish with three thoughts from my experience as a Vietnam veteran. First off, please heed the words of my brother veteran Sergeant William Earhart, Earhart when he reminds us of why American citizens are willing to serve in the armed forces. He writes, there is an implicit but sacred bargain struck between those who ask others to put their lives at risk and those who do the risking. It goes like this. I will give you my life to do with what you will, so long as your cause is worthy of my sacrifice. And Senator Collins, this cause, this war in Iraq, is not worthy of our service, service men and women's sacrifice. Secondly, if you remember the Tet Offensive of February 1968, then you will remember that time as a watershed moment in our country's sad and misbegotten attempt at colonizing Vietnam. Americans knew then that the lie was over. We were not going to win in Vietnam, and President Johnson in April of 1968 began the peace talks. My point is this. Had we removed American troops immediately in the spring of 1968, when the truth of our misadventure was laid bare for all to see, the wall in Washington that memorializes the ultimate sacrifice of service men and women from that Vietnam War would be half the size it is. Senator Collins, do not follow the path of those senators who refused to see the realities of war in 1968. Do not condemn yourself to a lifetime of hanging your head in remorse at not stopping the war now and saving American and Iraqi lives. Stand up for present and future, genera future generations of Maine citizens and demand an immediate and unequivocal end to this bloody war. Make us proud of you. And finally, Senator Collins, let me remind you that our commitment today to put aside the daily demands of our lives and interrupt the normal flow of events in your office does not come from petulance or out of petty motivations. I am willing to sacrifice this little bit of my life to stand in proud solidarity with those who came before me to resist the war in Vietnam four decades ago because I knew back then the people in the streets resisting that war were my true brothers and sisters, that they were offering me the support that I needed as a soldier in Vietnam to survive. I knew that they were willing to step outside of their daily lives to bring me and my friends home from the war. It is in that spirit that we join here today in support of withdrawing our troops from Iraq and defunding this war. It is your moral obligation to stand alongside us on behalf of the Iraqi people and America's women and men in uniform. Support the troops, bring them home now, and take care of them and their families as we move toward healing 
from this devastating war. Thank <laughs> <laughs> you.